switch to, uh, to the mic to you when you yeah. talk. So I think we should continue. So the, the speaker for the uh, next session couldn't make it. So um, I'm going to spend 10 minutes talking on his topic. And then Patrick is going to talk about a related project. So this is uh, connected to the, uh, to the NetBeans ecosystem. And I think one of the most interesting developments outside of Apache NetBeans is, um, is OpenBeans. So there's a web page you can go to, uh, openbeans.org. So what that is, is a NetBeans distribution. So in the, same, the way that you can think about it is, in the way that there is Ubuntu and Debian, there is OpenBeans and Apache NetBeans. So potentially anyone could take uh, Apache NetBeans as their starting point and create their own distribution, so long as they follow the Apache um, governance rules around that. And um, this person has done that. His name is Emilian Bold. And um, so this is just to introduce you to briefly to OpenBeans. So yeah, that's uh, how to think about it. Um, it's, a, it's a distribution. It's like Ubuntu. Um, it could have patches. Um, it could have additional features added to it, which means it's no longer Apache NetBeans. It's something different, and it has its own uh, unique name. It's got its own uh, open, uh, open source um, repository that you can uh, commit to, potentially. Um, at the time that the donation was initially taking place, the code was, was closed source. Uh, the, the kind of political issue was um, this could come across like a fork. Um, and it's not a fork of, of, of NetBeans. It's, um, it's, a, it's a different distribution. It was initially called CoolBeans, and it's now called OpenBeans. So the question is, who is using it? And actually, also, why? So I think the, the very best thing about OpenBeans is that with Apache, we are not allowed to um, distribute the JDK with NetBeans. And that's because the JDK is GPL licensed. And anything that is GPL licensed, Apache doesn't want to have anything to do with. So in the past, NetBeans was always bundled together with the Oracle JDK and made available from oracle.com. So you would download a, a package that would be NetBeans and the JDK and an installer to set everything up. Now, we can't do that anymore, at least not from Apache, um, because, uh, the J because the JDK is GPL licensed. We can't distribute anything with the JDK from Apache. And this is a big problem for, for many people. So not so much if you're some kind of hardcore developer. You have multiple JDKs lying around. But if you're a student or somebody getting started with Java, or not even Java, imagine you're using NetBeans with PHP. So you have no idea about Java at all. You're using NetBeans as a PHP environment or a JavaScript environment. Um, and then you're told, well, first you have to go and find out uh, some JDK to use. And then you have to install that. And then you install NetBeans. That's a big block for, for non-Java developers getting started with NetBeans. So the nice thing about OpenBeans is you can just download it, and you have a JDK, and what, what is bundled with um, OpenBeans is adopt OpenJDK, but they could have chosen anything. Um, from, a, from a development point of view, from you know, what you do, um, run NetBeans itself on, it doesn't really matter which JDK um, you are using. And so the question is, so who is actually using this? Um, it's um, a range of different people from different countries. Uh, you can see Brazil, India, US are the, are the popular um, places where it's, uh, it's being used. The most important thing is the fact that it's a JDK out of the box. Now, maybe we can solve it in Apache somehow, but for the moment, this is, this is the way to get, a, to, to get a distribution. You could imagine that JDK vendors might take a, a NetBeans, because it's Apache licensed, and bundle it with their JDK. You could imagine Azul or... Um, uh, uh, any organization that, you know, Red Hat, they could take Apache NetBeans, include their JDK, make an installer available as a way to promote their JDK, especially now that there are so many different JDKs, so many different implementations, all based on OpenJDK. You might think, well, it would be nice as a way to, um, to compete between different JDKs, to have one with tools included. So potentially it could happen in, in other organizations too. Um, it's got in, in, uh, signed installers. Um, 
included. And what it also has that is special is a C++ support. So um, as I mentioned earlier, um, the donation process takes, is taking a long time and there's different donations that are taking place. The one that hasn't been completed yet is the C++ parts. So we haven't been able to distribute NetBeans C++ features from Apache because it hadn't been donated yet. However, it's, a, it's free and open source, GPL license from Oracle. So um, Emilian Bold, the person behind OpenBeans, just um, took the C++ code and included it in his uh, distribution. And now you have the full uh, NetBeans IDE that there was at the time of the donation available as OpenBeans. And there's a few native uh, additions um, notification center on Mac OS. There's also um, improvements with the Maven indexing built in. Initially, the idea that you had was to target uh, Mac, o Mac OS X, um, but then you found out um, from his statistics that the majority of people, a lot of people, were using Windows. So he's focusing more on Windows now. Um, yeah, GPO is on category X list, and for that reason, the JDK can't be bundled with uh, Apache NetBeans. So in the future, um, a number of additional features could be added. One of these is Python. Well, Python hasn't been donated yet either to uh, Apache. It's, it's in the um, Oracle um, contrib repository. It hasn't been included yet, so that's also a next step. And it's something that could be included in this um, distribution as well. Also, a nice feature is you can get free stickers. So if you write um, to them, to him, if you go to this uh, website, codeswith.com um, slash sticker, you can order a sticker and you get a free uh, sticker. And the home page is this. And here is a list of the features. And it's one person making it. And you can also um, donate to him to support this effort. I think it's been really valuable in, the, in this time of transition where we haven't donated everything yet and also we haven't figured out how to bundle the JDK with NetBeans yet. And so this is a perfect solution, at least for the interim. And we'll, we'll see in time um, how valuable and what additions um, might be added to this distribution. But in theory, anyone could be doing this. Any organization could take Apache NetBeans as a starting point and add their own um, additions on top. And in fact, um, this is actually what, uh, what Patrick um, is doing. So it's a nice transition maybe 